Hello, my name is Bill. I'm the pastor at Freedom's Lutheran Church in Gibbsville, North Carolina. Thank you for joining me for this moment of devotion. I was inside my devotion when all of a sudden the words to a song came to mind. You may know the song. It starts, humble thyself in the sight of the Lord. Yeah, and I began thinking to myself, what does that mean? What does it mean for us to genuinely humble ourselves in the sight of the Lord? And as I was thinking about that, I began thinking about how so many times when we're confronted with the challenge, we by our own strength begin looking for solutions. We want to know the what, what to do next, the how, and the, and the how to get it done. And we chase after these things by our own strength. And I think what those words mean, humble thyself in the sight of the Lord, means that instead of looking to ourselves to provide the solutions, instead of chasing after the what and the how, we begin chasing after the who, the one who can make a difference. And you all know full well, that's God in Christ Jesus. Jesus is the one who can make the difference. So what would it mean then for us to humble ourselves in the sight of our Lord Jesus? Well, that's simply to ask, to take the problem, the challenge before us, and instead of us seeking our own solution, to humble ourselves and ask for help. Ask Jesus what he would do, and then trust. Trust that Jesus will lead us toward a solution. Trust that Jesus will be about the work of answering those kinds of prayers. When I was thinking about that then, I was led to a piece of scripture. It's Psalm 116. And it's Psalm 116 here in verses three through six. It's a little dark, but it shows how sincere our Lord is in being with us and giving us the answers to our prayers, even to the point of saving our lives. Psalm 116, verses three through six, the cords of death encompassed me and the terrors of Sheol came upon me. I found distress and sorrow. Then I called upon the name of the Lord. O Lord, I beseech you, save my life. Gracious is the Lord and righteous, yes, our God is compassionate. The Lord preserves the simple. I was brought low and he saved me. To humble ourselves in the sight of the Lord is to bring ourselves low, to give God all the room God needs in our lives to save us and to save those around us. Thank you so much for spending this moment of devotion with me. If you care to check out other devotions or see things that are going on on in our church like our upcoming Easter egg hunt and worship services all through Holy Week, please go to freedens.church www.friedens.church and you can see what's going on there. God willing, I look forward to spending time with you tomorrow. I hope your day is abundantly blessed.